together with thanksgiving and gratitude to remember an amazing person, Canon Richard Morgan. We may remember his affectious smile and that infectious laugh that has touched so many people. Joyce and I recently met and reflected on the beginning of the hospice. Richard alongside then John Wayne, then Bishop of St Edmundsbury in Ipswich, and Reverend Canon Sally Fogden saw the work of St Giles's Hospice. And it was then the dream for here was born. Richard's faith in the risen and ascended Christ in, in, equipped and inspired him and others to seek and provide an opportunity for all people to be cared for. Joyce and I are reminded by the commission that was given by Christ. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul and your mind, and to love your neighbour as yourself. Richard's Christian values of care, compassion, love and hope for all inspired him in his care and advocacy of others. Richard saw the hospice as a family, how we seek to look after and care for one another and those in our care. And on a personal note, the chapter seating, Richard and Joyce always are interested and supported of what we were getting up to next in our new... <laughs> I didn't notice who that was, Barbara, did you? <laughs> <laughs> <It's me. laughs> and our new ways of being. So today on Ascension Day, when Christians remember Christ rising um, to that right hand on high, let us pray, if you'd like to join in just with the words Amen at the end. Generous and compassionate God, we thank you for the life and ministry of Richard, for all his concern for all. We thank you for his witness to your love for all people. We continue to pray for the work of St Nicholas Hospice Care, that together, with Jesus walking alongside us, we serve the needs of our community. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm a new boy here, and having only been associated with the hospice for about five or six years, um, I've got many more years to go before I'll stop being a new boy. But one of the things that uh, I learned very early on was um, the work that Richard had done throughout his life, or throughout his adult life, in building up the hospice. Um, he was uh, a visionary uh, in terms of pulling the ideas together and getting the enthusiasm locally and the funding locally together. Um, he was full of drive and motivation to get the job done. And for the last 35 or so years, you know, it's been an inspiration to everybody here, and I'm sure Everybody who's here now, everybody who's had an association with the hospice, and anybody who's sort of passed through the hospice will be very grateful for what Richard has done. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, thanks to all his family for being here today to celebrate that. Um, I knew Richard more particularly through um, myself becoming a trustee and then becoming chairman of the board for, um, in 2015. And of course, Richard was president. And um, Richard was a very, very enthusiastic member of uh, and contributed in very many ways. Um, he contributed in many, many ways across the whole hospice, as you know. Uh, and one of the things I used to like and, and um, to have experience of was uh, his um, presentations to the volunteer induction meetings, where he would talk about the history of the hospices in Bury and then going back to the medieval days. And of course, where we are now is in this sort of modern reincarnation of the old medieval hospices in Bury. And so I found him a very fascinating individual. Richard was interested in all aspects of the hospice, and I remember going round to see him uh, and Joyce one day, and we were talking about, I'd just become chair, and we were talking about the role, and, um, and then we sort of got sidetracked into other things, and where we got sidetracked was to a place I never thought we would go. But anyway, we ended up sitting there talking about Norwich City Football Club, <laughs> and how I was a great supporter, and how Jamie who used to be in marketing in those days, would go over down once a week to have the letters signed, for Richard to sign, and they'd sign the letters very quickly and spend half an hour talking about Norwich City. And Jamie in marketing was a big Norwich City um, supporter as well. 
But as I say, at the board, Richard was hugely enthusiastic. He was a great guide to me, a great help. And um, uh, before each board meeting, he gently reminded me, because I usually forget, that, um, that we should have a period of silence and reflection, and then a short prayer to help the board meeting along. On a few occasions, we needed that prayer, but not often. <laughs> um, he was a very, as I say, major contributor. He was interested in everything that we talked about. Um, sometimes, in the latter years, <coughs> his hearing um, became a little bit hard, hard of hearing, a little bit difficult. But sometimes I made that work to my advantage. So Richard would say, <laughs> Richard would say, um, what, so Charles, I didn't what was that, Charles? <laughs> I say, I say, Richard. Do you agree? Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, 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 resolution passed. Um, but no, as I say, I, I'm pretty new here. You know, as um, whatever we do here, uh, employees, trustees, volunteers, whatever, we're sort of passing through. Um, we spend our time here. We go on. We move on. That's the nature of things. It's <coughs> that's life. So, but but the one thing that I can say, from my perspective, having as I say, been here only a few, a short number of years, a few number of years, is um, Richard will not pass on as far as the hospital is concerned. You know, he was a founder. Um, I, I saw a document, we were looking through some legal documents recently, and there was his signature, 1983. And so here we are, 2019. You know, while I move on, we all move on and do other things, Richard will remain always as the name behind the hospital. You know, I, I, this is such an amazing morning. It's so lovely to see so many people here from the present and from the past as well. I know there are a few people like Sally Fogden who couldn't be here and Claire Houston and many other people, but you know, we're being held in their hearts and they're remembering us. So to be here remembering our 35 years that Nicola, of St Nicholas Hospice Care that Richard founded, I think is absolutely amazing credit to him for his vision everything you built of. And now the work is for us to make that vision live on and grow. He wanted, everybody mattered to him. So whoever you were, he remembered you, he knew your name, your background, what you were doing, if you liked football or who you supported. Um, I think he'd have been a bit cross that we didn't have as many clotted cream scone mornings when he was around as we are having now. I think that's definitely got to go on the list. Um, but I think it's really his passion. You know, God equipped him. We now want to go forward and equip everyone because everyone matters. Um, and we need to reach more people now. Our strategy is about equipping our community, providing more care, really, you know, striving for that innovation. And I think he was so innovative in his time. And we've got to hold on to that and do more of that. So I think this is a, a tremendous morning remembering Richard, holding him in our hearts about everything that he wanted us to do, carrying on with it. But also that we're going to be opening up, drawing the curtains, we hope they work, I'm sure they will, um, to um, have his, um, a reminder of him of everything he did in the heart of the hospice. Bradbury Green was a place where we all come together as a, as a family, as a unit. And I think it's his rightful place to have his picture. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that's lovely. Well, thanks everybody for being here. Sorry, it's a bit, a little bit, a bit emotional, but still. I just want to say thank you all. Ready, all right, right, here we go. It is There we go. Well done. Well done, Mum.